Hey, it's Julie. Now let's get started with the video. The first nail painting hack I have for you is all about prep. Your manicure is not gonna last long if your nails aren't properly prepped. One trick I do for this is to lightly buff my natural nails with a buffing block and then use a lint-free wipe and rubbing alcohol to thoroughly cleanse the debris and any oils that may be on my natural nails off of them. This is going to ensure whatever polish you put over top is gonna last long. The next trick I have for you is to lightly push back your cuticles right before you you apply your polish. This is going to help you be able to get closer to your cuticle and it's going to help prevent any extra polish from getting on your surrounding skin. You should always make sure your cuticles are prepped before any manicure, but I also like to give them an additional push back right before applying polish just to make sure the polish applies perfectly. If you struggle with keeping your manicure on longer than a week, I highly recommend checking out a rubber based base coat. This is going to dry a little bit sticky, so when you apply polish over top, it's going to grip onto it in your manicure is going to last over a week. Plus using a base coat helps protect your natural nails and it's gonna help the polish adhere to your natural nails better. Sometimes bottles of polish can become unmixed and the pigment separates, but before you go and shake it, I recommend rolling the polish in between your hands. And I wanted to show you what happens on this clear polish so you can see. When you shake it, it forms tiny little air bubbles which will then be deposited into your manicure and we don't want that. So roll it between your hands for about a minute and it should do the trick. One of the most important parts of painting your nails when you're a beginner is figuring out the right amount of product to apply. I recommend removing all of the polish from the stem of the brush and then removing all of it off of one side of the bristles and then remove half off of the other side of the bristles. So you should have half product covering one side of the bristles of the brush. And this should be enough polish to fully coat one of your nails with the perfect amount for a thin layer of polish. If you have longer nails, you can always increase the amount of polish you have on that one side. And this brings me to my next nail painting hack, and that is to always do two thin coats of polish. You can even do three thin coats. I sometimes will apply three thin coats instead of two because it builds up that polish and kind of gives it a more plump effect, almost like a gel manicure, which I really like the look of. When you're applying polish, always cap the free edge of your nail with the polish to seal in that color coat and make sure your manicure is gonna last as long as possible. No matter how good you are at painting your nails, it is inevitable to get polish on your skin and around the cuticle area. The biggest tip I have is to use some nail polish remover and get a detail brush, a tiny little detail brush like this, or you can even use like an old eyeliner brush. Anything that's narrow and angled is gonna work perfectly for this. And then I just dip it into the nail polish remover and I go around that edge and I really sharpen that edge around my cuticle. This is gonna make your manicure look super polished and salon-like and then I always just remove the excess onto a lint-free wipe that I have set to the side. This is the number one hack I recommend to all nail enthusiasts. Get a cleanup brush, get your polish remover, and always clean up your manicure. It's gonna make it look 100 times better. Sometimes when you use neon polishes, they don't come out looking exactly like the color of the polish in the bottle, and that's when this hack comes in handy. I like to apply a white base coat first, let that fully dry, and and then you can apply one layer of the neon polish over top and it's gonna be so opaque and bright and it's gonna look neon just like it looks in the bottle. You can also do this with polishes that are a little sheer to get them fully opaque. And the last nail hack I have for beginners is to invest in a quick drying top coat. This is going to cut your manicure time down in half because you don't have to wait hours and hours for your manicure to dry. A quick dry top coat will have your manicure dry to the touch in less than five minutes and then fully dried all the way through in less than 30. And it just adds such a gorgeous glossy shine. It looks like you just got back from the salon. So there you have 10 nail painting hacks for beginners. For more cute polish videos like this, you can click on your screen here. And don't forget to click that circle to subscribe to Cute Polish for a new video every week. And to check out my personal nail channel, you can click on the circle here. As always, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time. Bye.